This is the future. The Death Watch skin for Rhino is one hell of a cosmetic and, I know that you are looking for something to enjoy this skin while playing with the Beetlehead Rhino. If that's the case, then this video is specially tailored just for you. As the title suggests, this Rhino build will allow you to gain 1 million plus armor in seconds. The worst part about gaining iron skin armor with Rhino is you need a lot of things and there are lots of steps to do, including using arcane and all other stuff to provide you with the maximum buff. Some of that stuff is unavoidable, but we will cut down the process into simple steps so it can provide you with 1 million plus armor in seconds reliably. So here's what you need. First, let's discuss the build. Stack lots of power strength and armor in your build, including in your arcane slot. The best slot for arcanes is both arcane guardian and arcane tanker. However, guardian won't be needed when you have tanker so it's up to you if you want to build up more power strength in your rhino. How about energy problems? That would be taken care of by the emergence dissipate arcane. As you can see in the build, I have the ironclad charge to gain more armor percentage bonus, and the iron shrapnel so I can recast my iron skin whenever I want, especially if it's close to low armor levels. The trick to getting more armor bonuses from the ironclad charge is to group up enemies which in this case, the best way to do so is through Magus Anomaly Arcane. And in the process of grouping enemies, you can regen energy by simply doing a void sling cancel. When you get out of your warframe, you can group enemies and as well as get the energy to cast your important skills. Before even doing the grouping and casting of the charge ability, you must activate first parasitic armor, which you can subsume from the Helminth system. This will allow you to gain more shield from the amount of shield you have in your build, hence I added the redirection mod. Giving more shield like equipping sentinel with the shield charger mod will give you more shield which converts to more armor but that's ineffective since the sentinel just dies fast in higher level content. We are aiming for reliability and a fast way to gain 1 million plus shields here, so having more with a very unreliable setup won't count. If there's one thing I would like to add in this setup that I don't have yet, that is giving Tal Forged Shard in my Rhino with ability duration buff. Why not armor raw power strength? Well, the longer the buff from Ironclad Charge stays, the better your chances of successfully getting 1 million plus shields all the time. So how to get 1 million plus armor in seconds? First, proc Arcane Tanker by equipping your heavy gun then unequipping it. Then, group enemies with Magus Anomaly, and in the process, make sure you are using Emergence Dissipate for energy. After there are lots of enemies, go cast an Ironclad Charge and let the enemies hit you, and stack that million armor. Rinse and repeat the process. This build is the best when used in steel path levels, especially in endurance runs like survival. But how about nullifiers? Just don't step into their bubble. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching. Squad leader signing off.